Good afternoon, everybody. I am out of my contacts today and in my glasses because this cold is still hanging on a little bit. Mostly the cold is gone, I think. I just kind of have a cough now, so I hope I don't do that while I'm trying to film this video. I'm going to make a really short one. I have a couple of things to show you. I have a couple of finishes and a couple of new things that I've bought, not much. But I mainly came on right now because I wanted to tell y'all something that happened to me uh, after my last video and give you kind of a warning and a chuckle, I suppose. I had a really uh, ugly comment on my last video. It was certainly not one of our floss tube folks. It was not about my stitching. It was about my personal appearance. Y'all... In a previous life, uh, the one pre-retirement, I was one of four principals at a very large high school and worked with high school kids all day long and for years doing that. Before I was a principal, though, I was a counselor at, high school, at the high school level uh, and in fact, that's what my master's degree is in, counseling, and then all the post-grad stuff is administration. And, and I studied uh, adolescence in depth. <clears throat> so I can tell you that either the person, the person who commented was either a teenager or someone who is kind of stuck in those teenage adolescent kinds of thoughts. Um, I, yes, I reported it to YouTube, although it was not graphic, it was not violent, it wasn't anything like that. It was just kind of bullying um, kind of stuff. And uh, I deleted it from my post, my video. But the main, and I would not have mentioned it, except, uh, you know, I thought if that happens to someone else, they may not realize that the comment is really not about them. And y'all, it's really not about you. It was not about me. It was about the person making the comment. Inevitably, when someone makes those kind of comments, rude, ugly kinds of things, they are criticizing something about you that is something they don't like about themselves. So it's not about you. It's about them. Report it, certainly, but then blow it off and have a laugh. And honestly, say a prayer for that person that they might grow out of that place where they are, that they might find some validation and um, security and love somewhere else so that they don't feel the urge to do those kinds of things. That's the way I look at those kind of things. And, and it honestly just brought back some memories from my high school days, I one of the last times when I was a high school principal, the seniors always had a what they called a prank day, and their senior prank my last year was that they wrapped my whole office in saran wrap. They wrapped my desk, they wrapped my chair, they wrapped my little mini refrigerator, all of it in layers and layers and layers of saran wrap and uh, thought they were so funny. Kids just do crazy things sometimes. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to move on from that and show you a couple of things. I am still working on snow day. This is how far I have gotten on snow day. Um, this is a country cottage needleworks pattern. And the pattern looks like this. Since we don't have snow here, it's actually about 70 degrees today. Mm, two or three days ago it was 15. It's crazy weather, crazy weather. I decided I would do snow on a cross stitch. And last time I showed you roly-poly Santa that I had <clears throat> finished but not fully finished, it came out of, I'm struggling to get to the magazine, y'all. It came out of this magazine. Whoops, is that the back page? Yeah. Go, Marlene. Um, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitchery. This is this particular one. Roly Poly Santa, and it looked like this in the magazine. 
and this is how I decided to finish him. This is a red and white ticking. I added just this little bit of rickrack, and I tried several different embellishments. Tried a little rusty bell, and I've tried a peppermint button. I couldn't get anything to look just right with him, so he's going to stay plain. I have on my coffee table, my house is um, sort of primitive slash farmhouse decor, um, and my coffee table in my living room is actually made out of pallets with a glass top, and on top of that I have a long wooden, antique wooden tool carrier, the kind with the handle on it. And I keep cross-stitch pillows in there. And this one's going to fit just perfectly, I think, in that little um, place on my coffee table. And then another one, I don't think that I had this one stitched even when I was on here before. It came out of this punch needle and primitive stitchery. And looked like this in the magazine. It's called Eve of St. Nicholas by Lori Markovic of Lottie Da. And this is how I finished it. Bonnie, you will be pleased. I've been working on my corners. They're looking better. They're not perfect yet, but they're getting there. They're getting there. And when my hand gets completely stronger, maybe I'll have it perfect. We never know. But I'm sure trying. I'm working on it. I had a couple of purchases. Both of these are from Pineberry Lane. <clears throat> One is Christmas, and I saw this on Vanna's uh, video as well. I bring thee joy. I love this one, and I love that they have finished it on wool. Um, I am doing the little sheep virtues from Little House Needleworks, and I'm doing those on wool. And so I think I'm going to do this one on wool as well. Not the cross stitch part, it's on fabric, but it's uh, put onto wool. And then the second one I bought was for a Valentine's Day, and it's called Tokens of Affection. Can't wait to stitch that one. That'll be, I'll be working on in February. And then the last day or two, all I have been doing is gritting. I, I saw. Several of you grid some of your pieces, and I'm going to be doing this piece, which is a Vervaco kit called Hands. As you can see, father, mother, and baby. Well, you know I had to have it because I have a grand great grandbaby coming in April, and so I wanted to stitch this. The colors in it, it's 14 count Ada that came in this kit. And ordinarily, I wouldn't think gritting would be necessary on that. But because the colors in this are so close to each other in shading, I decided gritting would help. Well, <clears throat> gritting's not fast, y'all. Look at this. I've spent two days doing this, and I'm not through. My, I think one of the problems I'm having is I'm having to take a break from it and stitch something else. I don't know, something about the way I'm having to hold that and stitch it really is making my hand uncomfortable. It, get, it tires it out pretty quickly. And as you know, this is the, the one I had surgery on is what I'm referring to. And, I, I, and it's doing better. That finger is never going to be straight. Uh, and that's okay with me as long as it doesn't hurt and I can stitch. It doesn't bother me. So that's all that I have going on. I um, hope that you all have a wonderful Christmas and that you have lots of family to spend Christmas with and that you have uh, laughter and joy uh, throughout the season and that you have a wonderful new year. And I will see you after the 1st of January. Bye-bye.